Hello, welcome to another vlog. In my continuing series of off the beaten track obscure locations, I've come to White Beach on Anglesey. Well these are really unusual conditions for Anglesey, it's not often it's flat calm like this. The tide is a neap tide so not very far up, not very far down and there's not a breath of wind which really makes a nice change. So White Beach, it's in the middle of nowhere, it really is obscure, probably one of the most obscure places I've covered so far. We're actually only about a mile and a half or so from the lighthouse at Penmon. Uh, so we're right out on the eastern peninsula of the island and the bay faces pretty much due north. Today it's absolutely flat grey, there's really nothing in terms of features in the sky. But that doesn't matter because I'm really not worried about that. My reason for coming down here, apart from showing you guys this fabulous location, is to try and shoot some rock because that's the subject for this month's challenge on the Facebook group Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. Nearly got it wrong there. So. I'm not going to be short of subject material here, there's plenty of rock about, it's just a matter of what I do with the composition, because with the light being so flat, obviously the sky isn't going to feature much, so we're going to be looking probably at detail shots, textures and possibly colours, uh, because even though there's very very little interesting light, the fact that it's flat grey means there's no harsh shadows, so we can make the most of textures and not lose detail in the shadow areas. So so I'm going to have a, a good scout around and let's see what we can find. So one of the first things that's caught my eye are these two amazing rocks uh, and it's the colour that really attracted me to them. They're bright red in places and yet there's no other rocks even similar on the entire beach. So I'm really not sure though what I can do in terms of a composition, but the way the one rock is resting on the other, I mean there's got to be something in it surely, but I really don't know what yet. Um, I've had to come up onto this ledge. As you can see, I've climbed up a bit from the beach again, and it was as slippery as hell, so God knows how I'm going to be able to get back down, but, but that's the, the trouble you go to as a landscape photographer. I think I'm going to set the camera up here, and having found a great subject, all I need now is a composition to go with it. Right then. I've got myself all set up, I've had to squeeze into an impossible corner, extremely undignified for a gentleman of my age, um, but it was the only place where I could get the composition that I really want. I've got the, uh, the rock that's resting on the other one breaking the horizon because with no sky to speak of I need to try and keep the whole frame interesting. I've got the far headland at the other end of the beach, the curve of the beach itself on the right hand side and I've also got Puffin Island in the composition. Now it's going to take a bit of Photoshop magic to do something interesting with the sky. I'd really like to be here during a sunrise or a sunset and that'd certainly be on my list to come back. Um, I'm shooting at f9 and I've got a 10 stop ND on 
so I'm getting a shutter speed at the moment of about 15 20 seconds something in that region um, and that's because in order to really capture the peaceful ethereal nature of today at this particular location I want that sea really smoothed out um, it wouldn't take much to smooth it out because it's almost a flat calm but I think it enhances the composition and looking on the back of the camera of my test shots I think a long exposure is the way to go with this so I'm going to take quite a few more shots here because I'm going to have to focus stack I deliberately wanted to shoot at f9 instead of going for a really small aperture and expanding the depth of field that's because f9 is the sweet spot of this lens and with this shot being all about foreground texture um, I really want it as sharp as I can possibly get it So I've just come back down onto the beach and got myself set up. I'm shooting this couple of rocks here leading out across to the headland and I'm zoomed in relatively close. Just been taking a few shots around the fifth of a second mark. So as the sea is swirling around and as it comes up over the pebbles, I'm getting a nice bit of movement in it and um, I'm hopeful that the textures and colours on that first rock in the foreground is uh, going to be quite interesting. So this is the view from my pit stop, ignore the camera, I am for now, and just enjoying the view. This, uh, this landscape photography of Malarkey, bloody marvellous. So I found another subject that I'm really interested in. It's the way all of these white pebbles have been thrown up by storms and are now wedged in the cracks in this rock. Now, it's going to be tough to really feature these stones. There'll probably be a lot of dodging and burning necessary. Um, but what I've done is I've set myself up back here to shoot at 35 millimeters. And I'm getting in that headland as well, because I really quite like the way the rocks on the outcrop are uh, silhouetted against the sky they're quite an interesting shape I'll probably move in and try and get some close-ups of, of these white stones but this is the shot I'm working on at the moment 35 millimeters about a sixth of a second at f18 So I'm just walking down the beach and I spotted this little outcrop of rock and I just quite like the way it mirrors that headland over there so I just set up for a very quick snap. Okay so I'm set up for what I think is going to be the final shot of the day um, and I finally got a bit of detail in the sky way over in the west um, far too early for sunset but what I've got is a, is a series of layers. I've got rock in the foreground down here with some green stuff growing on it. Another outcrop of rock over the far side by that headland where I was at the start. Um, and then the further headland right over towards Benchleck, Red Wharf Bay. Um, and I kind of like the way the rocks and the beach lead you through the layers as a sort of S curve. Um, and I, I'm quite enjoying this one, I like the composition. Technically, it's dead easy, it's a really simple F18 shot, um, about a quarter of a second, no bother at all. I'm just focusing on that second outcrop just over there and it's giving me all the depth of field that I need for this shot. I'm not sure which of the images from today I'll put forward for the Facebook challenge but, and I have been known to reshoot them entirely, but I'm actually hopeful that there should be something quite good from today. It's one of those days where when it's quite warm and quiet and calm 
it's easier to get better pictures. Of course, that remains to be seen and you might have something different to say in the comments. But nevertheless, I'll put a link up to the playlist where this video will be featured along with all the other entries in the competition. And uh, you can find out more at Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. It's a really good Facebook group. Lots of really top quality photographers sharing tips and tricks. So if you've got any interest at all in landscape photography, why not pop along and join? Well, it's been an absolutely fabulous afternoon here. I've been here for hours and thoroughly enjoyed myself. Had the place almost entirely to myself, except for young, one young lady who came down with her dog. And when she found out what I was up to, she implored me not to share the place. She lives in a cottage just up there and would like to keep it to herself. Unfortunately, I, I have to share it. it. It's just so worthwhile. So I need to get home, otherwise the lovely Mrs G will be phoning for an emergency yellow helicopter any minute. But thank you very much for joining me again. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not do it now and join me next time. Cheers.